Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And today we are checking out Skitty Car vs. Drift Race by Quali Studios. Alright, so I was looking at the top apps on the App Store and I noticed Skitty Car and Drift Race. One was launched in October and the other one later in January. Both of these games kind of look identical, so I just wanted to jump in, play both of them, give my thoughts on which one plays the best. First, let's check out Skitty Car. Here I just loaded it up, a tutorial on how to play. Hold to go right, release to go left. Fair enough, hold to go right. Release to go left. Lay. So here we go. It looks like we got a cool little Mustang. Alright, we're getting the feel. And first level finished. That was kind of a tutorial level to get you accustomed to how to play. And as we can see, we are off to the races. Okay, let's try that again. Alright, let's go. Ready, set, go. Here we go, here we go. So Giddy Car has drifting going on, that's for sure. And finished. Great sound effect, skidding wheels, level complete, lot of stars, exploding everywhere, and tap to continue. Oop, almost got some of those coins. Not exactly sure what the coins are used for yet. I definitely like the layout of the road. Cool shapes and designs. And it's fun because you try to see what's coming up ahead while not dying with where you're at. I guess you can pick up other cars. I need 400 coins. Okay, this is great. By seeing what cars there are and how much they cost, this will get me into the mental state to try to collect as many coins as possible, which will likely cause me to die. That's the effect of being greedy. The handling on this is amazing. While I myself do not like to drive, I am a big fan of drifting. Initial D, if you ever seen that anime. Get it, get it, get it. All right, I need 400 coins. No, I'm not going to make it. Guess I just got to keep on going. On the top left, it looks like there's a prize. Free prize remaining two hours. Oh, you can watch a video to get rid of some of the time. Free prizes are a great way to keep player retention, keep them coming back. Everybody likes free stuff. So offering free stuff within your game definitely gets more love and appreciation from that player. Now I got 400. Now I have 500 coins. How do I get that many coins? That's not to complain. The road looks cool. I kind of want to see different colored looking roads though. The screenshots in the game look amazing on the App Store. So they had a bunch of roads. Here we go. Level bonus. I want to try a new car. I got plenty of cash money now. Let's see what's up. Not gonna lie, the bug looks dope. Blue Mustang. Yeah, truck. Mm, not for me. Taxi cab. That's cool. 600. This one literally costs a penny. I didn't even know. I don't even think you can do that. I'm like tempted to click on it, but I'm not spending a penny. All right, let's get the taxi cab. Old school taxi cab. Reminds me of New York City. Let's do this. I feel like I hear a different sound and engine, which is pretty cool. That's attention to detail.
Also, I just noticed the progress bar at the top isn't just like a standard progress bar. It's got some cool animations and actions going as we watch the car get to the finish line. And that's something I've been seeing more across all the games I play is people are just leveling up the progress bar. They're just making it cool. So that is Skitty Car. So let's check out Drift Race. And here, this is almost like a, a similar tutorial to Skitty Car. Oh, and now we're racing against other people. Okay, I see what's going on. So that's the major difference. It's probably playing against other people. Also, the progress bar is different. Oh, basically, the double points collect. It should be noted that I am currently not connected to the internet, and that's primarily because I'm not a fan of ads. Put my name down, and let's... I like speed up pickup trucks. I'm cool with that. The game mechanic is pretty much the same. Definitely feels the same. I'm, I'm almost like trying to close my eyes and drive. Oh cool, so I'm... Okay, now I can see the big difference. When you're racing against other people, you're, it's that extra element of pressure to keep going, to win, to not be beat that Skitty Car does not have. So it basically takes everything in Skitty Car, adds multiplayer element to it, and then you're hurt. Also, the other cars can kind of bump you off. That's not what you want. If you get too greedy, maybe you go for the coins instead of the finish line. I do kind of wish the menu screen was a little bit better. Oh, sorry. I feel like most of the time I just want to jump into the game, but I have to hit a lot of things to just get back into the game. So here I have to, you know, collect the, collect the money. I can win a car. Yeah, let's do that one. Like that. Ooh, kind of looks like an Impala. I like it. Ah, oh, and there's an ice cream truck in front of me. Even cooler. That just that makes me want ice cream, actually. Okay, let's go. I'm definitely not winning this race. And I spoke too soon. Competition brings out the best in me. That's for sure. Oh, ooh, the lag. There we go. Drift Race is definitely more engaging than Skitty Car. Skitty Car, I guess you could play and tr just try to get acquainted with the game, but honestly, I would skip Skitty Car and just jump to Drift Race. Oh no! You need first place to move on. Sweet, so check it out. Drift Race, Skitty Car, links down below. Let me know which one is your favorite. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.